So I've been um, doing a lot of work with uh, 3D printing my speakers and uh, learned a few tips and tricks. I want to show um, show something that's been working pretty well for me lately. I've been doing uh, almost everything with uh, CLD whenever possible. That's uh, constrained layer damping. Uh, the idea I stole off of uh, Earl Geddes, Geds, however, however you pronounce that. Um, so with uh, constrained layer damping, basically you have a uh, a rigid layer on the outside and then a uh, soft layer on the inside. Uh, the soft layer uh, dampens the structure similar to what you get um, if you were to put Dynamat in there. But um, I'm not using Dynamat because it wouldn't be, it would be cumbersome. I'm using uh, liquid nails. Uh, liquid nails for subfloors to be exact. Uh, so let me show you the, uh, the original enclosure that I had. Uh, these were for my car. And it's a, it's a bandpass enclosure, that's why I don't see the speaker, there's the ports. Um, but this is 3D printed, and this is the exact same enclosure, but this one um, has had the CLD tricks applied to it. So this is plain old plastic, and it's gonna, you're going to hear it ring. So you hear that ringing? Listen to the top in particular. The top is the real problem. The speaker's right under, underneath it. Okay, hear that? Now let's do the same thing with this. Much, much deader. This in particular on the side, it's almost like a, it actually hurts my knuckle to wrap it. Um, compare, compare the side to a tile countertop. I think the speaker is actually deader than the tile. Um, and then the bottom again. So you can see that, you can see there's the original plastic structure, and then that's covered in uh, liquid nails for subfloors, uh, both on the outside and the inside, and then that's covered with fiberglass. So the uh, the soft parts are the liquid nails, and then the original plastic structure. The hard part is the fiberglass, and you can continue to add more fiberglass as needed. You can see from the size of them, it doesn't actually add much volume. It's probably only I'd say it's about an eighth of an inch thick of uh, liquid nails and fiberglass. And ideally it would be a lot thicker. If I had space, you could really go crazy with the thickness of the um, liquid nails. And I may have to do that, we'll see. Uh, the issue that I'm having with this mid-base enclosure is that it's buzzing because the, the, the enclosure is too flimsy. Um, for all my uh, 3D printed stuff, I generally use uh, walls that are about five or six millimeters thick. That doesn't sound uh, very thick um, and generally I can get away with it but as we get lower and lower in frequency I need uh, thicker walls.